Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an authentic vintage look that can be used to add character and interest to certain photos. So this photo features a rusty cast iron skillet hanging on the outside of an old wooden cabin. And it looks pretty cool as it is, but I want to make it more grungy and antique looking, like this final image. So the original image is too warm and I want to make it kind of more depressing looking, so I'm going to take down the temperature of the white balance from 4050 to 3500. To take even more happiness out of the photo, I'm going to decrease the exposure to about negative 0.7. I also want this photo to look grittier and dirtier, so I'm going to increase the clarity to about plus 80. And I'll take some color out of it as well by taking the vibrance slider down to negative 20. One thing about vintage images is that they typically have less contrast. So I'm going to take the highlights down to negative 60 and then I'll increase the shadows to about plus 70. The highlight slider only affects the very brightest parts of the image and the shadow slider affects only the darkest parts of the image. I like the overall contrast now, but to bring back some local contrast within specific parts of the photo, I'm going to increase the whites to plus 30 and then I'll decrease the blacks to negative 20. And that might seem counterintuitive to the previous step, but the highlight slider affects the bright parts of the image a little bit differently than the white slider. And the same thing goes for the shadows and black sliders as well. At this point, our photo is looking pretty good. But there's a few more changes we can make for a more stylized effect. So I'm going to come down and open the split toning panel. And under the highlight section, I'm going to increase the hue to about 45 and increase the saturation of the highlights to about 35. And that will shift any of the brighter colors in the image to a more orange color. Next I'm going to take the hue of the shadows to 220 and the saturation of the shadows to about 25. And that will shift most of the dark colors in the image towards a more blue tone. Most old lenses have some pretty severe vignetting so I'm going to recreate that. We'll go into the effects panel and I'm going to take the post crop vignetting amount down to negative 30. And then I'll increase the midpoint a little bit to about 65. And that will make it so the vignette only affects the most outer part of the image. Lastly, I want to focus the attention on the skillet here. So I'm going to come up to my graduated filter tool. And I'm going to click and drag from the left side of the image towards the skillet, stopping right at the edge and I'm going to come over and change the exposure to about negative 0.5. The original image had some good things about it, but it lacked a lot of the clarity and character that we added in this tutorial. So here's the before and the after. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like this tutorial, subscribe on YouTube or sign up to our email newsletter to get updated when we post new tutorials. I'm John Shaver for Shutter Suites. Thanks for watching.